Now, the wedding industry already brings an estimated £30 million to the Northumberland economy every year. Now those working in it say they're about to have their busiest year to date. It means more customers for local businesses and a chance to showcase the region to guests and couples from around the world, as Amy Lee reports. Memories of the best day of their lives. Newlyweds Danny and Mike tied the knot last summer. Despite not being from Northumberland, they chose to exchange their vows there, insisting from the start there was nowhere else they'd rather do it. People often told me that it's, a, you know, it's quite cheesy, that it's the greatest day of your life. And then when we kind of digested it, like the day after and even now really, it, surprisingly, and as, as cheesy as it sounds, it actually was. It was, it was a great day and we... Um, we certainly embraced it. I just love Northumberland, the countryside, the relaxed feel it has um, and the venue choice up here is, is much broader than I'd say other parts of the country as well so you can find a really unique venue. The location for Danny and Mike's big day was here, the rolling Northumbrian countryside. Behind me is the village of Otterburn in the heart of the Northumberland National Park. Now this small village has experienced something of a wedding boom in recent years. There are several venues in that small village alone where couples can choose to tie the knot. And with scenery like this, who wouldn't want to choose Northumberland as the destination for their big day? Le Petit Chateau in the centre of Otterburn Village. It's where Danny and Mike got married and today it's full of other couples hoping to follow in their footsteps. It's an opportunity too for independent local businesses who've sprung up around the wedding industry to attract new customers. It's been a massive increase in, in, in sort of, I think, the interest in the, in the whole region in, the, in Northumberland. We'll film maybe 50, 60 weddings a year and quite a big percentage of them will be in places like this. We've got a, 168 weddings this year. Obviously we've done a few of them already because we're halfway through. Uh, we're do, touching 180 booked already for next year. Um, so I think in total since we opened last June we've got four, we've booked 450 weddings. A lot of the local pubs in different villages as well, going like West Woodburn out, out there, they're doing really well from it. So like you say, it's sort of spreading out. Um, the more weddings we're doing, the more they're sort of, the more trade they're getting, which is great for us because, uh, you know, busy Northumberland is only gonna bring more trade. Two out of three couples who get hitched in Northumberland are not from the region. Jane Walton runs a and b in Otterburn. She says the village's wedding boom has transformed her business with guests coming from all over the world. We have people coming from Dubai, um, London, Somerset, uh, France, you name it, they come from all over now due to the wedding industry. Um, seems to be a great attraction. So yeah, we're definitely seeing lots of different people. In the Tyne Valley, Northumberland County Council are funding the development of Hexham House. It's going to be, yes, you guessed it, a wedding venue, but one that will provide income for the council, keen to capitalise on the expanding industry. This forthcoming year, we've already got 1,705 weddings booked and you know, we haven't started the year hardly yet. Uh, so that's fantastic news. Um, and that number has increased over, over time. When I first came to Northumberland, we had little over 800 weddings a year um, at venues across the county. So this is, this is fabulous. An industry that has helped put this region on the map and that shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Amy Lee, ITV News, Otterburn.